Hi, Bruno here. Welcome to Spain Guru. Several questions from this American Spain Guru community member. I want to move to Spain from the US with my wife. How can I obtain residency being an EU citizen? What are the tax implications? Let's see the specific questions. My wife and I plan to move to Spain in 2023. We're both from the US, but I have EU citizenship from Latvia. My wife does not. However, it seems clear that she will be able to acquire a visa as my spouse that may be easier than going the uh, non-lucrative visa route. I am unclear on, however, if I need to have an apartment in order to receive residency permits, or rather do we need residency permits first in order to sign a lease? I am currently an independent contractor in the US and I plan on continuing to do so in Spain. My wife has a full-time US job that is remote. As an independent contractor, will filing taxes be similar to how it is in the US? Once a year, file income and expenses and pay taxes due accordingly. I know that you cannot be taxed by both the US and Spain. What is the best practice for navigating this? I see that a digital nomad visa is in the works, which has a very reasonable tax rate, but I don't want to wait on that if it's not definitely happening. Let's see the answers from Spain Guru community members. EU person becomes resident in Spain, US partner becomes resident on basis of partner's residency. Compared to usual, going to the EU route is easy, but plenty of snacks. Biggest we found was getting a postal certified copy of marriage from another country. Just arrive in Spain and do it all here. Each area has a gestoria or abogados who handle expats. Once in Spain for 183 days in calendar year, taxes are generally paid to Spain and FTC claimed in the US. Watch out for capital gains if selling a property as if you sell early 2023, you don't want to be a tax resident until 2024 if you have a gain. I cannot stress enough the highly privileged position you will be in as a EU citizen. Note only enter and use your EU passport in Europe if visiting US later or enter or exit the US on US passport but re-enter EU on EU1. Next one, taxes. You will be taxed in both the US and Spain once you become a tax resident in Spain, but that's a fact question specific to each situation. Normally staying 183 days in Spain triggers it. The double taxation treaty ensures that you only pay the highest rate and not double. You first pay tax in your residence country, so Spain gets paid first. Any tax you paid in Spain, you get as a tax credit in the US. Also, there is the financial accounts reporting or FBAR, which coincides with tax filing date in the US. It's easy to do online and can carry steep fines if you skip it. Next one. Since you are an EU citizen, neither of you need a visa. You simply apply for residency once here in Spain. You will get residency first, then your wife will be granted residency based on your EU citizenship. You will need the following to apply for residency. Number one. Newly printed marriage certificate from country clerk with apostille and translated by officials from translator from Spain. Two, proof of economic means, also translated. Three, health insurance approved by Spain. She will immediately be allowed to work in Spain and have access to all benefits like any other Spanish resident and like other visas. The non-lucrative or student visas does not grant these benefits. When it comes to being a private contractor, so self-employed, it's different than the US. Here it's called autonomo and it's quite regulated. You must pay a monthly fee of 300 euros, more or less, that goes towards social security contributions, as well as file quarterly taxes. Some complain it's expensive. You will file in both the US and Spain, and since there's a treaty, you only pay the difference. Spain will probably have a higher rate. Also, once you start working in Spain or becoming autonomo, you will both automatically qualify for the public health care, which is excellent. I am a Spanish resident, married to a Spanish citizen, and originally came on a student visa. I never used a gestor or lawyer for any of my residency applications, so it's for sure doable if you are comfortable with bureaucratic norms. All the processes and documents required are clearly outlined on the Spanish government websites. And last answer. You will need a fresh apostille and officially translated licensed marriage. Fresh means that it was officially printed within 90 days of when you apply for residency. Apostille is done by the US state that issued your marriage license. As false indicated, definitely use a gestor who can usually also handle the translation. But other than that, it's pretty simple. 
If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of the new content that we upload to the video. And if you need expert advice, just go on spainguru.es. You will find immigration lawyers. You will find also tax experts if you need to file taxes in Spain and also in the USA. You will find also relocation services in Spain, apostille services from the US, sworn translators and health insurances when you apply for no lucrative visa, when you apply for a golden visa, student visa, you will need health insurances as well. And we also offer certificate of good health for the UK residents. And also if you need to go back to the States and you need a health insurance, we also offer those health insurances too. And of course, if you want to be part of a community, please join our Facebook group, uh, Spain Immigration and Residency Questions, Spain Guru. Yes. Uh, with more than 16,000 members where you can ask any single question related to Spanish uh, immigration issues and you can do it also anonymously. You can also join our non-lucrative visa group with more than 800 members, our Spanish digital nomad visa group. Very important, last but not least, please subscribe to our newsletter. You can opt out anytime. We send this newsletter every single Monday morning and we feature top discussions on our community and uh, any news related to Spanish immigration. That's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. I wish you a great day. This is Bruno from SpainGuru.es. Goodbye.